100% the BMS harness that went up. So you can see there, those are the cell caps. I just pulled out, um, pulled out the high voltage junction box. But we can see here, um, pretty much that holds out of the way. Hmm. Now this is a, a mess, I guess you would say, but you got a three-way junction with one, two, three, four, five potential failure points. And I don't remember seeing this outside of this high voltage junction box. So was this inside the box or tucked up behind the firewall there or where and then I stopped the video at 910 and you can see the BMS plug where it plugs into the module and the curve of the pigtail and right over here is where that proximity clip would be so and from that position, it looks like it was the pigtail was pretty much in its stock layout and position. But something had to cause a short in here. And stopping it at 9.25, you can see all the other BMS cell taps look to be pretty much stock can't really tell if their proximity clips are in use that could be one right there but overall it looks pretty much stock as far as the satellite board and the BMS pigtails and then Stopping it at 9.35, this also shows that proximity clip. It's not really burned up, so I would almost assume that it wasn't connected. And then, yeah. Moving forward just a hair more at... 949 you can see this proximity clip is not connected this folks this friggin thing tried to go on fire again I get it All right there I would say of course if you still got energy in the module you've got all these bare wires and some of them are potentially still connected to their cell taps. And you, you can see all those are touching each other. That's kind of obvious. There it is. Oh yeah. In there. Look at that. Brilliant. Spaghetti wiring. Yeah, make your battery stay. Where's the BMS? Alrighty, covers off. So it looks like the epicenter of our little flamethrower event was. So he even agrees that this BMS cell tap was the epicenter of the fire. In the spaghetti wiring. But, but he blames it on the spaghetti wiring. If there was nothing a matter with the wiring before it burned up, something shorted in here, in there or in the plug. Wires don't just all of a sudden short or we'd all be in trouble. Now the rain's decided to give us a break. So let's have a quick look. Here they are folks. 
I put some of that fireproofing plastic over it, but this is the one. This is where the fire happened, right on the terminal block for the BMS harness. So basically the same as one of those. Uh, what I would think is, see all this water everywhere. These things have been sitting out in the rain all afternoon or overnight or whatever. Then these wide open BMS taps obviously would have got water in them. And there hasn't been any new fires. So maybe Remy's right about water not being able to short these out. Or I'm not, I don't know. Maybe it's some coolant out of that blue hose. Fire. This is an ele electrical fire that basically happened in the battery management system. Um, went back in the video just a little bit but you notice you don't see those blue coolant hoses anywhere so are they inside of this high voltage box so this is not a lithium fire this is an ele electrical fire that basically happened in the battery management system and got the plastic cover of the battery and still even here I don't see those coolant hoses anywhere keep it in there but it's burned up yeah I'll try and get in there again but it's folks has the scene of the crime we've already seen this but the BMS harness. just one more time to see where that those coolant lines are so you can see there those are the cell taps but we can see here um pretty much see i don't know where them where these hoses are before the high junction box high voltage junction box was removed much that holds out of the way we can see pretty much it cut on to all my control wires there so it's a miracle alrighty and as far as this proximity clip even with it disconnected the wires can't do a whole lot of Flapping or anything. And then there's again what the connector looks like. Let's see about popping this lid off and showing you what it looks like inside. Alrighty, here's our 12S BMS plug this is the end it plugs into the BMS satellite this is the end it plugs into the module and this is with that top cover peeled back so so all those wires are hooked in there good and solid and even there's no bit of terminal or anything back there so even if you Snip it right at the terminal, right at the crimp, I guess, because the crimp would be it's this metal thing up in here, so it would end somewhere in here. But even with this one wire flapping around, I don't see where it could hardly get in one of these other openings enough to cause a short. I said these are pretty heavy duty little gadgets they've come up with here. Let's see once they're all snapped together it's even more 
rugged. So all those wires are well protected. And even that one I cut off. Yeah, like I said, even that one I just clipped off really couldn't do much. If it's inside this little housing guy. That's a pretty nice design and Okay. Just a bit more information. More to come.